Alright guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Into the Bush. Today, we are doing a $35 challenge at the Dollar General store. And I want to go ahead and say I'm sorry that I haven't been on for a while. I've been going through some things and I took some time off from doing YouTube. But today I'm back. So, like I said, today we're doing a $35 Dollar General Store challenge for beginning slash budget food stores for your stockpile. So, stick around. Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting episode of Into the Bush. I'm your host, Andrew, so stick around. said earlier and as you can see from the title it is a $35 Dollar General Store survival food store challenge and everything you see here excluding some of the stuff that's behind the front row here everything you're seeing here I literally got for $35 and I will go down one by one and I will tell you the price of what I got it for at the date of the making of this video so let's get started so guys we've got let's start with the first one here we got two 24 packs of water bottles this should be your main, main thing that you need to stock up on. If you're a family of three, husband, wife, and child, it takes one gallon of water per adult for one day. So if you're setting this up for a month, or you're setting it up for six months, or you're setting it up for long term, a year or more, you need to be in mind that these water bottles are 16 ounces. You would need eight of these a day per adult and four per child. So if you're setting it up for a, a month, you would need several, several cases of these, of these waters. When you're on a budget, you get what you can get when you can get it. But I paid, let's see here, $2.95 a piece for these waters. So I'm looking roughly $6 right here in two things of water. So with the water out of the way, the next thing is I got ranch powder. Now, <clears throat> you're probably asking yourself, Andrew, why ranch powder? Instead of buying regular ranch, you can get these ranch powders for, what was this one, $1.85. Sometimes you can get them uh, small, uh, cheaper. But, instead of buying a 2 or $3 bottle of ranch, get you one of these and get you a tub of some kind, small tub, medium tub, large tub of sour cream and put this in your sour cream and you will have your ranch. Plain and simple. And it's cheaper to buy the cheap powder and the sour cream. You're going to be probably about a dollar cheaper. So for your budget and you want ranch get ranch powder and sour cream. Of course, today I didn't get sour cream because I already got a bunch of them. So I didn't need none. So, that's two items out of the way. Now, 
before I move on, I'm wanting to I want to tell you all that uh, I appreciate you all sticking around and showing love and support to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. And it notifies you whenever I drop a new video, so you will never be out of the loop. Um, also, guys, hit the like button. When you hit the like button, it makes the YouTube algorithm go up, and this video can be ranked more. And... It helps me out a lot, and it lets me know that I'm interacting with you all, and that you all are actually interacting with me. And I, I really appreciate all the comments. Share it out to any social media platform that you have or that you want to. It would also help me out. And also, if you would like to, I'll leave a link down in the description for the merch. That also helps me and this channel out. But other than that, let's get back into it. Alright guys, the next thing is I bought three boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese. These are the ones that have the noodles in them, the macaroni in them, and it's got the powder in them. Some people like them, some people don't, but in, a, in case of emergency, you'll always have these. And I got these for a dollar a piece. So... Three dollars, I've got three to six meals of macaroni and cheese. I could do one box just for me, and I can eat half of the serving that's in this. It says it's got about three servings per box. So I could literally, I could either eat this whole box for one meal in case of an emergency, or I could have three meals just in one box. So I could have three, six, nine meals right here just for me. Now, if you've got a family of three, one box will feed the whole family of three. So you would have three meals. But for a dollar a box, it's a good budget item to get for your food stores. Now let me talk a little bit about the budget for your food store. I want to make a challenge for you all. Like I've done this challenge for me, $35. Okay, you see that I've done that. The challenge for you all is, whenever you get your paycheck, whether it be weekly or bi-weekly or monthly, set aside $20, $30, $40, $50 dollars out of each paycheck and go stock up on your budget food stores. Now, once you get enough food stores for at least your family for at least three months, then you can take it and actually go somewhere that is like Sam's Club. You get even more bulk items. Uh, Costco, even more bulk items. Um, you can go to Walmart. Uh, get find the sales at Walmart, find the sales at your save a lot, find the sales at any of your stores that sell food. And you can stock up, you can get a different variety. So like I said, each paycheck, whether it be weekly, bi weekly, or monthly, set aside twenty, thirty, forty, or fifty dollars uh, each paycheck. And if you want to just go that paycheck and set your uh, buy some stuff for your food stores that's fine if you want to do it uh, once a month say you get paid twice a month bi-weekly you go at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month and you use however much you have set back say forty dollars sixty dollars a hundred dollars for the month you can go spend that money at like a Dollar General store and you can stock up on cheap food that you would need for your family. But you could also make sure that it's food that your family already eats or already likes. That's the key to it. 
Shop for what your family eats already and what you all like. And you can have that as your food store. So, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and continue with everything else of what I got here. So, after the three boxes of macaroni, I got two different things of ramen noodles and they're five packs in one little in one pouch so you've got potentially it's one serving per packet so you've got five meals here and I, that's beef flavor five meals here that shrimp flavor you've got ten meals just in your ramen noodles yes they are not very nutritious and doesn't doesn't have very many calories in it and it doesn't like fill your stomach it fills your stomach but you don't get your daily caloric intake with it it shows for a half a packet you're getting uh, 190 calories for a whole packet you're getting 380 most most of that is basically the seasonings that's going into it and hardly anything else but when you're in a pinch and you're going on a budget, ramen. You can always add some beans or some meats or something else to that. Mushrooms, olives, whatever you want to that to extend it out and to make it more nutritional for you. And uh, has your caloric intake what you would need daily. So after the ramen noodles, we've got... Oh, let's see. We've got the Nor Alfredo pasta. And before I tell you the price on that, the ramen noodles were a dollar a pack. But your Nor Alfredo noodles, you get a dollar. You pay a dollar for one of these. And you have one container, which is this, is your serving size. Uh... Just as the package, you're getting 470 calories. Uh, prepared, you're getting 630. So I got Nor Alfredo pasta noodles. I love Alfredo. That's why I got that one. And plus, we were out of the instant pasta stuff. Uh, the next thing I got was two packs of chunk light tuna in water. You get one serving in each pouch. And like I said, with the ramen noodles, you can add tuna. You can add chicken chunks. You can add beef. You can add shrimp. You can add this into your ramen noodles to stretch your food out, to make a more nutritional, nutritious meal for you and your family. If it's just you, Look, $35 is going to feed you for maybe about a week if you know how to stretch your food out. Once you can figure out how you can stretch your food out, this $35 will probably feed you for a week, maybe more, depending on if you can stretch it out or not. But I got two packs of chunk light tuna in water and you get 60 calories in each pack so it's not much but it works uh, next thing I got was the Noor Spanish rice the Noor Spanish rice it's the same thing just a different flavor as your Alfredo's or your chicken and broccolis paid a dollar for that uh, let's see, spaghetti, a box of spaghetti noodles, dried. You can leave them in the container or you can take these out and cut them in half, break them in half and dry can them in your mason jars and they will last longer. But you have 
a pretty good amount of spaghetti in here. Let's see. You have eight servings in here. Eight servings of this. So you can have eight meals of just spaghetti. Guys, it's simple and easy. A dollar for a small box of spaghetti, you have at least eight meals of spaghetti if you need it in case of emergency. Let's see, next, I've got drink powders. And this is the Starburst kind. It's blue raspberry. And yes, it says no sugar or zero sugar. You get, let's see how many packets you get in here. You get six, I think, in here. Yeah, six packets. So, two boxes, you've got 12 drinks. You've got 12 bottles of blue raspberry flavored water. And it has zero sugar in it. In case you get bored or just don't like the taste of water, you can soup it up with this. You can fix it up to however, whatever you want, whatever flavor you like, you've got it right here. And these were a dollar a piece. Uh, next up, we've got a five pound bag of long grain white rice. Guys, with rice, rice lasts for a good long while. And I recommend that if you get the white rice, you either dry can it, or you, if you have a food saver, portion this out for each meal. So you can have, this has... 50 servings in it and each serving is a quarter cup dry so if you get the tiny little vacuum seal bags you can have 50 individual wrapped bags of rice that will feed you and your family for this right here alone will feed you and your family three meals a day for over a week over a week guys and for how much did I put? three dollars for five pounds you can stock up on your rice and your beans I didn't get beans in this one because I have a crap ton of them here so don't jump down my throat on that but with rice get your rice and your beans and your lentils and have them set back, have them individually portioned out per serving size will make it easier for you all to take it and whenever you dig it out of your supply bucket or supply tote, whatever, you can go ahead and pull it out and have that one serving. So you can have however many servings you want to make if you've got a three person family you can have three bags right there or you can just do one and split that one between three people it's basically left up to you all how you want to do it but it's easier to portion it out by serving size with your rice uh, guys let's see here the next thing is my sugar I got the Domino Sugar, and it's a four pound tub of it. And you have a lot of sugar. You can sweeten your rice with it. You can sweeten your cornbread with it, homemade cornbread with it, sweeten your, oh, uh, what else? Your green beans or your corn. Or if you make homemade bread, uh, you can sweeten your bread. You can sweeten anything. You can sweeten your tea, you can sweeten your coffee, anything. But sugar, your body needs 
a certain amount of sugar a day to stay stable. That's why I got a four pound tub of sugar. And we go through a lot of sugar here. We could go through this in like maybe a week with as much coffee and tea as we drink around here. We could go through this with three people in this house. We could go through this in about a week, maybe a week and a half if we push it. But sugar is always good to have. And it was $3. Uh, the next thing was a 24 ounce bottle of ketchup. Now I recommend keeping these in the container. I've seen people make their own little ketchup packets like my uh, McDonald's and Wendy's and everybody has trying to stretch it out. I recommend if you're putting this up for your food storage and your food store for an emergency, keep it in the bottle. Everybody likes ketchup. Well, most everybody likes ketchup. But I ain't never met anybody that doesn't like ketchup. So, ketchup, keep your condiments, your spices, your coffees, your teas, everything. So we got ketchup, and it was a dollar. Uh, the next thing I got was I got four cans of Viani sausages. If I can get it here. Four cans of Viani sausage. I'm not a big fan of Viani sausage, but I do like the barbecue kind. The barbecue kind to me is really good. And like I said earlier, you can supplement some of this stuff into your rices, your nor rices, your packets of tuna, your spaghetti, your ramen noodles, your, uh, your white rices, your beans, you can add anything to those to, to add flavor and to add more nutrition. But I got four of these for 65 cents a piece. No, 60 cents a piece. I got four of them. Guys, I mean, look. You see all the stuff I've gotten so far. All this over here, this is still yet to be talked about, right here, and then this over here. If you do a $35 or however much you want, just starting out $35, look at all of this that I have already set up in case of an emergency. It might not look like a lot to everybody's standards nowadays but when you want food and you are low on money to go get your groceries what's the what's what are you going to do you you can't do nothing the only thing is is if you start making your food stores now for emergencies you will have your emergency food stores already stocked up well enough to if you did get laid off of work or if a crisis happens, a flood, a tornado, a fire. If you have this stuff already set up and set into place, you will have your food no matter what happens. So guys, I really, really recommend that if you want to start your food stores, do you, do, ask yourself, do you really, really want to set up a food store and how much do you want to have stored in case of an emergency? Guys, November is coming up. Election is coming up. And with everything that's going on right now, I don't know how much more messed up things is going to get, but 
I want to be prepared in case something does happen. So I am starting or continuing, I shouldn't say starting, but continuing my food and water storage for emergencies. Yes, I still have to rotate it out, but at least I know if I run out of money or if I got laid off or there was an earthquake or a hurricane, well, you ain't gonna have no hurricane here in Kentucky, but tornado or whatever, Whenever I run out of money or whatever, something happens, I will have my food stores saved up and stocked up, ready for, ready for whenever I need it. So, I recommend, guys, if you're going to do this, ask yourself, how much do I really need? How much does my family need? And should I do this? In my opinion, I think everybody should save up their food and water. Go out, set you a budget. I done a $35 budget. This is what I got for $35. And guys, I it, it's it's not rocket science. If you're good with money, you're good budgeting and everything, $35 right here will last you a couple weeks. So let's continue. What else did I get here? I got two cans of kernel corn. Gotta have your veggies. I love corn. Yes, even though they're starchy, it's it's still good. I love corn. It's my veggies. And you get three and a half servings per can. And all you really gotta do is whenever you go and buy some new cans, put your new ones in the back and your older ones up front so you know which ones need to be rotated out, which ones need to be used first. So it's first in, first out. So I bought these two and if I got two more next week, these two would be up front, the new two would be in the back. It's Guys, it's, I really reckon, I cannot stress enough how important I think that this is for the community and for the whole world to budget their food stores and make a food store of their own. I can't. Uh, the next thing I got was a can of French style green beans. I got them for 65 cents, but I got store discount because they were on sale for 15 cents off, so it makes them like 40 cents. Then I got a regular green bean can for 65 cents, so I've got two different styles of green beans. Let's see, what else, what else? Mustard. 40 ounces of mustard. Again, your condiments, your spices, everything you put on your sandwiches or your burgers or to make your homemade barbecue sauces, buy them up, store them up. Uh, next, to go along with the pasta sauce, so with the spaghetti, I've got pasta sauce, meat pasta sauce. When you buy canned foods, keep them in the can. Make sure they're not dented, punctured, leaking nothing, or that is that food is going to be rancid by the time you open it and try to eat it. And you will have lost what you have paid for. So the pasta sauce was a dollar. Oh, let's see. And the last thing was I got enriched all-purpose flour. It was a five pound bag. I paid $1.75 for it and got 15 cents off. So I paid $1.50 for it. You can use this to make breads. You can use it to make uh, biscuits. You can use it to make rolls. You can use it to make bannock bread. You can use it to make gravy. 
whenever you cook your meats. Uh, you can use it just about anywhere. You can bake with it. You can do anything. But, guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, it was kind of long, and I appreciate you sticking around. Before I go, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, share this video out to any and everyone that you know that wants to start a food storage just in case of an emergency. And guys, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I will see you all down the road. Be good, guys.